rend les choses faciles. Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. Cheers, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Drink beer in the morning. Yeah. Can't beat it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what I came in to talk to you guys about today is, you know, this brewery. I've been here as a kid and we stayed in that hotel when I was a kid and there's all this has been here since I was a child, so this place has always been awesome to me. Right on, yeah. You know, I kinda wanted to come in and just see what was cool about the brewery, you know, meet you guys and you know, see what's up. You know, I, there's a ton of award winning beers that you guys offer. Um, can you guys can you talk a little bit about those? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, since 1996, uh, we hadn't won an award. So we started in 96 and we actually didn't win our first JBF medal until 2001. Uh, so, and that was the first medal we got was with the Cardiff Double Brown Ale. Wow. And uh, that was in kind of a weird category. It was uh, our, uh, it, it was in other strong ales or lagers. Um, and it's actually an ale. Um, and then, yeah, we've been winning awards pretty much almost every year so when we don't get an award it's always a bump right <laughs> i saw that uh you know this i'm actually drinking the the nut the no name brut nut brown yeah yeah geez, excuse me sorry and uh the last word he won was with this one correct uh yeah that was the out last year at jbf yeah so and that goes in the english style uh it's basically the english style brown ale category so. right out of the 97 or 98 categories in yeah. the JPF. Yeah, there's there's a few of them. I'm sure there's going to be more. Yeah, sure. uh, there's. I think they were putting in a few this year, actually. So I think they're doing a session IPA category now. And there was one other, I forget which one it is. There's all the new sour ale categories, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> so there's lots of sours. We learned that one in a video on yeah. sours. And there's just a culmination of different styles from traditional to kettle sour to all the just put into a fermentation tank which is yeah a variation between the two and yeah and that's one thing we don't really mess around with here because of the the uh you know susceptibility to cross-contamination so that's yeah. one thing we're not we're not really dabbling with but uh maybe eventually we'll <laughs> we'll get there but. i guess it's really easy to cross-contaminate if you're you know brewing sours and your lactobacillus like, like, gets out that's it you're done yeah. this is now a sour beer and so is everyone yeah, else exactly so, yeah you know I, how did you guys get started here Oh, so in 1995, the uh, Bill and Jim Carver were down, uh, they were working the Carver's Brewery in Durango, and April and Steve Carver, totally unrelated family from this area, um, they were down in Durango, and uh -huh. they literally went in for breakfast one morning, Carver's, uh, they picked up a growler and they were sitting out on the sidewalk and they were just kind of talking about what they were going to do with this real estate here in the basement of the hotel. Uh, this was a kind of a... A ranshackled restaurant that ran for years and they didn't really put a lot of attention into it because they were working on the hotel well um, that year in 95 they were like man we really need to have a brew pub here in Glenwood and so they went back in with their growler and they said where's we need to talk to the owners and serendipitously they just kind of got the whole ball rolling and, and within I think it took them literally like 13 months from the, the time they dropped their pencil on the paper to the time they got the brewery open um, it was a it was a pretty big feat. So that is really cool. So yeah. Carvers and Carvers started this place. Kind of that's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah, and just sort of randomly, just yeah. two two different families. That, um, that Steve love beer. Yeah, well, yeah, they, yeah. Both of them are very involved in the beer. Jim and Bill more so from Durango, and and uh, uh, April and Steve more on the sort of the they're they're really sharp pencils. They're CPAs, and they own an accounting firm here in town. And, and obviously the hotel and yeah. a numerous other businesses. So. so that's they got their hands in various places. Yeah, yeah, they're good people to know for sure. So with, with that said, how did they get their first brew equipment? Uh, 
Oh yeah, so that was a cool story too. I think it was somewhere in, it was down in like uh, St. Louis. They went down and it, and it, this, it, the, the equipment was stored in some basically storage shed and they had, it was super dusty and the carvers somehow found out about it. So they went down there and they got, got the equipment and literally, you know, pennies on the dollar and wow. got it back here to Colorado and installed it. So a lot of it's actually been replaced. Uh, they used to be all wooden bats, um, and now we've gone to all stainless steel. It's a lot cleaner, a lot yeah. more sleek. But uh, you know, it, for, on a starting budget, it would definitely you got to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's really cool. You know, I like the, the process of how breweries come into fruition. I mean, that, yeah, that means a lot to our community, especially. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of community, how are you, do you guys get any local hops, grains, barley, or anything like that? So we do source some stuff uh, from Colorado. Uh, I wouldn't say we do it on a a regular basis um, it is kind of cost prohibitive still um, but we do try to support uh, we support Colorado malting company in Alamosa um, we get our uh, some malted barley throughout the year from them and then uh, high wire hops um, in Paonia um, we've gotten some from Palisade a uh, hop company in Palisade right. um, and then of course we try to try to source uh, as much local fruit if we're gonna make a fruit beer uh, we did a Palisade peach ale last year um, our raspberries unfortunately they're not sourced locally but that beer is in such high demand that it's, it'd be really hard to keep it in yeah keep it in stock yeah man. Well, we've done we actually have done one one year we did all local raspberries and I thought it turned out pretty well but to do it time and time again would be it'd be hard yeah, to do so troublesome yeah. I can imagine that's really cool so uh, what do you guys do with your spent grain or anything special like that yeah so all of our spent grain goes to uh, a one one local rancher and he's you know it really comes down to is he the guy that's gonna come back every time and pick up your buckets and, and get him down to his ranch and, <laughs> and he, he wins so it, he gets it, he gets it every, every time and sometimes we'll have people that that uh, you know request it um, and we just can't we, we've got to keep him happy because he's got probably a couple hundred head of cattle that he feeds it to so he's got to let him have it yeah that's really cool though that's yeah. awesome and you know what, like back to the beer, this is sort of more of a traditional style brewery, correct? Yeah, I would say a lot of our beers are, you know, I mean, they're tried and true beers. Um, we do use an English house strain, and so we get, most of our beers are sort of English in nature. We are changing up our, our Vapor Cave IPA is now kind of an American style IPA. We use a, a different yeast strain in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, all of our all of our beer styles are nothing, nothing super trendy, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, we're, we're kind of, we know what sells, and, we stick to the program. Yeah, obviously, it's, I mean, this is really delicious. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, thanks. you know what? Thanks for having us. And is there anything else you want to tell everybody out there? Oh no, I think the one thing about this place that's great is that it's uh, super family friendly, and uh, we make our own root beer here too. And so, you know, it, cool. I think a lot of people they sometimes think, oh, brewery, bring, you know, I can only go up with the adults, but you know, we it, we're kid friendly all the time, and we, uh, we love having kids along, and we do large groups of people here too, so. If you're ever having a party or kids party or families get together, right. come on in. Well, and as you mentioned, we came here and shot today, and yesterday you guys had an employee party. Yeah. So there was there was no chairs, no tables set out. Yeah, that's right. We re, we redo all of our floors a couple times a year. We repolish them and get them all straightened out and uh, and doing a big employee day. Um, that's really cool. Yeah. So that's awesome. Well, you know what? Thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. Yeah, Cheers. 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 Yeah. Cheers. So, earlier today, we met with Todd at the Glenwood Canyon Brew Pub. So cool, such a beautiful place. Uh, yeah, I really love Glenwood. Um, <clears throat> he sent us home with some beers to review. So, uh, which one did you want? I wanted the Canyon Trail IPA. Yeah, so I just love IPAs. Yes. No, it's no, not. That one, I think. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I get the no name. Brown, which I can pronounce now. Uh, you want to go ahead? You yeah, want, yeah, go ahead. yeah, totally. So this is the Canyon well, like IPAs. Trail IPA. So it was brewed with the Simcoe, Cascade, and then Centennial. Mm -hmm. And then also dry hop with Citra and then Falconer's Flight. Flight, Flight, yeah. Yep. So I'm pretty excited about this one. 
You know what I really like about that brewery is like their the style that they do. They don't really distribute a lot of everything they have is on tap. There's no yeah. bottles. That was a lot of head. I poured that terribly. But... Alright. <laughs> Such a cold color. It smells really good. Right off the right off the bat. Oh yeah, very citrusy. Which is definitely my favorite. I love Citradelic, so. I love their cans as well. 32 yeah, ounce. That thing is huge. I don't think I've yeah. ever seen one so. A crowner? Yeah. I can't call it a crowner. crowner. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, a crowner. What's up? Cheers. Yeah? Definitely small, etc. Yeah. I think it's, I'm really going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. there you go. Super smooth. It's really light. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the alcohol content on this is. I don't know if it'll tell you on these cans. No, they don't. But you know what? I was gonna guess. I'd probably say five, five. Five, five, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely. Nothing crazy. It's so smooth. Definitely leave you wanting more. <laughs> There's no that like, bad aftertaste. Mm, I love that citrusy. Yeah, it's really good. My it's very clear. Yeah. I'll totally travel to Glenwood an hour and a half every day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> every <laughs> Friday. <laughs> I really like it. I don't think this is any. This hasn't won any awards currently. No, it has not. It does. Right. No, I looked up. I looked it up, and I asked Todd. Right. I so said talk right. to him personally, and he said no. I but it's not got to be soon. Yeah. I mean, no. This is so good. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. I think he said there was 17. Award winning. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. This is so good. Alright, I'm gonna finish this and then try my beer. The <laughs> brew pub is also attached with the Hotel of Denver. Right, Hotel Denver? The Hotel Denver, and the town was called Defiance. Is that right? It was first called Defiance, built yeah, in 1904. <clears throat> I think the Hotel Nevada was built, or I mean the Hotel Nevada, the Hotel Denver was built in 1904, mm -hmm. and then it was during the mining times, so like the 18, the late 1800s and the early 1900s, so cool. which is really cool. There was like a dirt road out front, I think, mm -hmm. right off 7th Street, where the uh, Glenwood Canyon Brew Pub is actually located currently. Mm -hmm. It has been since like 1995. It's really cool. Alright, I'm gonna rinse my glass off. I'm gonna, all right, 32 ounces, and you said they have to drink these pretty quick. Like yeah, that, I was gonna like say, as soon as you man. open, they don't, you'd like to drink it now. <laughs> so this is the no-name nut brown. I'm excited about this one. Me too. This was a dark one. This is the one that I had earlier today. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think I got to try it. Well, the reason that we did, he didn't send us home with <clears throat> the uh, Cardiff uh, double was because they only brew it every once in a while. It's like oh. an every other year kind of thing. I see. But it's, it is an award winning double. Okay. <clears throat> so this one is award winning. Yeah, do you want to rinse your glass out? Yeah. And uh, so traditional English, you know, this is, in my opinion, a really good beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's to, it's really stays true to the roots. You know, they use laminate, they use northern brewing, which is um, like an English noble variation. You know, they have so many um, uh, rhizomes nowadays that they just can graft <laughs> the variations of hops nowadays. It's extensive, to say the least, you know, and so let's try it. I mean, really... Mild, right off, right mm -hmm. off, delicious. Mm -hmm. Smell. Almost like a nutty smell. Yeah, definitely, definitely nutty smell. Smooth. I like that taste. Mm. Almost like a <clears throat> drier, caramelier kind of flavor. Yeah. Definitely way more malty. 
Maltier. You know, Todd said that a lot of the locals up there, they like yes. <clears throat> maltier beers. Yeah. The mountain folks like mountain, yes. mountain malty beers. Maybe we should, maybe we're mountain folk because we love malty beers. Uh, yeah. I love box and, oh my gosh, Trapels and yeah. anything. I think that's funny how we did people should fit in perfect yeah. up there. You know, and the difference between this, the hops variation that they use in this, right? This is the, yeah, the no name, and then the Cardiff mm -hmm. is, you know, the Cardiff is a true double. And the hops they use are Nugget, Willamette, and they also use Simcoe. Oh, okay, yeah. Which I, I think they also use Simcoe in uh, yours as well, the, oh, yes, no, the Candy Trail American mm -hmm. Cardiff. So, that's pretty cool. <coughs> No, yeah, totally. That's, uh, it's kind of crazy how many different variations of, of hops and beers that they create. Like we were talking today, he said there's mm -hmm. like 90 different categories of beers in the GABF, which is insane. Huh. That's insane. Wow, that is insane. And now they're coming out with whatever styles he mentioned today. That's, yeah. That blows my mind. <clears throat> it does. Awesome. So they don't brew sour, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, no, yeah, I know they didn't, huh? No, but they're a small brewery. They didn't. They had yeah. a lot of different cat, like, um, you know, fermenting tanks. But they did. I think they just stay true to that traditional style, and I kind of admire that. Mm -hmm. I, do I do too. I, I totally do. I loved that place. It was so pretty. Oh, speaking of like a um, variation of hops, they have uh, what's called the Alpha Beta Project, and basically they're just going to be uh, rotating. It's like a rotating hop series where they're going to be. Um, using hops that aren't even released to the public yet. Just they have somehow they get hold of them and beer and beers. So look out for that one. Nice. Um, cheers. Yeah, good. <sighs> totally excited to drink the rest of this. Yeah. I really like this as well. Yeah, this one's good. He's always sent us on individual beers for ourselves. I know, I didn't realize that. Yeah, right. It's funny. How great is that? Clean so all good, up. delicious. <clears throat> Definitely have to try them out. Anytime. Visit. I don't know. Yeah, Get anytime. There somehow. <laughs> anytime you're in Glenwood, you gotta stop by <clears throat> the Glenwood Canyon Brew Pub. Yeah, that place was. It was really nice. It was. And then I want to stay at the They hotel. had a big piano in the. Yeah, there they did. Did that you room. get a video or a picture of it? Oh yeah, it's definitely. Did I you got some footage of that. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, so I think we're going back. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. All right, well, for I'm the weekend. <laughs> kind of wraps it up for me. Yeah. I'm gonna pour another Sweet. glass of this and maybe you're gonna drink the rest of that. Finish this and then I'm going to finish this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here, cheers. Cheers. Right, thanks for stopping by, guys. Yes. Yeah.